Okay, really quick, I just figured out, you know, film a quick video. So, uh, the tools I have that I accomplish 99.9% .9 of service calls with, like I do not foresee needing to buy any other tools other than the ones that I'm about to show you here. So you got a fuse puller, okay, pull your fuses. You got a Milwaukee wire stripper here. I hardly use this, but sometimes I use it. You have an automatic stripper. I love the automatic stripper. This is Klein Tools automatic stripper. Definitely get one of these, They're like 30 bucks, they're amazing. Um, but sometimes you can't use them for every circumstance because there's a little bit of wire, so then I gotta lean on the Milwaukee's. Pair of dykes. Again, I think these are actually a necessity. These are 100%, you gotta have them. You can crimp, uh, crimp connections, you can cut things, whatever you gotta do, okay? Next up, channel locks. Again, 100% necessary, you need at least one pair of channel locks. Two pairs would be better, but one's not bad, okay? Uh, a metal screwdriver with a flathead. You don't need this, this is more just, this is my beating screwdriver, so I, I wrench on things really hard with it, I pry things really hard with it. You know, again, that's not super necessary, but you can have one. My reversible tip. So this is a 5 16th to a quarter inch reversible tip on an extender for a impact gun, okay? Now, this, the impact gun, I would say is a necessity, you need it. You need it for like self tappers, whatever you, you gotta put in, removing things. Some guys, you can get away without an impact gun for a while, you really can, um, especially with like more basic stuff. You can really get away with it for a while, but I would say you need it, but definitely buy one of these. I think I think this is by Klein Tools, this is fantastic. It's like literally use it all the time. Um, a long, I think this is a 20 inch extender. Okay, and that might be a 12 inch extender. Maybe it's, yeah, maybe eight inch extender and this is like a 20 inch extender. This is really good for like draft motors. Again, you don't need that, but it's good to have. Again, of course, it's a 3 8 bit. Now we're moving over here, 15 and one, right here. See, 15 and one? Klein Tools, 15 and one. Look at that, okay? I have this in here because every once in a while I'll run across a star bit or something I just don't have and it's nice to hold it all together. It's ratcheting, it's pretty good. Not a necessity, but I like it, okay? A six in one, a normal six in one. I have this normal six in one because every once in a while I need this long um, driver right there to get my um, either 5 16 out of, a, of an area where this thing actually won't fit or it's too clunky to bring in that. So that six in one kind of works. This is a insulated screwdriver, reversible. So you can pull this puppy out like this. Okay, I think it's by uh, Klein Tools, yep. And uh, I just like it. As you can see, it's been a little bit used and abused. It's one of my favorite tools. Um, this is another one I have that's actually more, I wanna keep it for steam to actually you do live electrical work as I need to if I ever need to do that. A hammer, you need a hammer. Now you don't need to carry it with you like I do. Uh, people think I'm nuts for carrying it with me, but you need a hammer on your truck, for sure. Some type of hammer, maybe even two hammers. Flashlight, obviously you need that service wrench. So I have one service wrench. Uh, this is, you know, just a normal size service wrench. This one is a Lang service wrench. Okay, that's not too bad. And then this one over here is a large service wrench. And if you're a commercial refrigeration, possible, possibly industrial, you need this, okay? Um, every once in a while, I'll come across a compressor that has, that needs that. Now you could get away with using an adjustable, but people are gonna hate you because you're gonna round it off. Okay, don't round it off. Again, another service wrench. This one is just because, so sometimes with your acetylene tanks, you use one on the acetylene tank and then you use one to actually do your work. Um, yeah, so then now I have some pick tools. Okay, pulling out honeycombs. I'm doing some detail work. I got three different kinds of pick tools right there. And then I have a straight tool, pick tool over there. I have this HN screwdriver for, um, like, you know, electrical things, T-stats, whatever. I have this Milwaukee voltage tester. I hardly ever use it, but I have it just in case. Just as an extra verification that something's live, Maka. Definitely have one of those. Carry that with you. Now I have a pry bar. Okay, this is, um, like, really good stuff. I have a couple other pry bars on my truck we'll go through after, but this is great. Um, I use it to get off panels, whatever I have to do. Now, adjustables. I have one, two, three, four adjustables, okay? You can make do with three, okay? A smaller adjustable and two medium-sized ones. But I actually love this small adjustable right here. This small adjustable is the best. Love it. Um, this guy, I think, is by Klein Tools. It's a little guy. Highly recommend 
getting it. It's just fits. Ugh, I can't even get it out. I have to use pliers to get stuff out. The skin's falling there too far for my fat hands to get. But I love it. Um, it fits nicely in your pocket. Good to go. So I got three sizes. I have another one right here that you can see is kind of like tapered. It's just useful for um, uh, like TXV screens and other things that sometimes are hard to get into. And then I got this batch coat one that I like too. And uh, I got this Dura last one actually from when back in the day before I was a tech. I just carry it. Because every once in a while, this one's too big. This one's too big. Dura last is just right. <laughs> pliers. Pair of pliers. I don't even know where I got these. These are generic. I think I got them from cleaning out a house when I was doing construction. Allen keys. Now, I got a pair of metric ones in my toolbox in my truck. But uh, this is just a pair of uh, American, uh, you know, English standard. And uh, I use it with most things. So, uh, <laughs> a variety of... Uh, wrenches uh so i have you know i have uh three eighths five sixteenths half inch five eighths eleven sixteenths and uh, i did have five and i think i did have nine sixteenths and i did have three quarters at one point but i think it fell out i carry these um five eighths is great for txv screens now i carry one of these flat ones for hard spaces so txv screens that five eighths hard spaces and i carry this half inch in order to um tension doors door tensioners is this half inch extra thin super great for that needle nose pliers long ones then i got short needle nose pliers in there okay again these are just i don't even know what tool brand these are these are just generic tools that i've accumulated over the years of my life um a pair of ice grips okay a caliper for measuring pipes and different types of sizes some scissors pretty decent a uh AR gun right here, laser dual temp temperature gun. Okay. Then I have a fluke voltmeter right there. Okay. Multimeter. And that multimeter isn't the best because it, I mean, it's, it's a wonderful multimeter. Don't get me wrong. Wonderful multimeter. It just can't do capacitance, can't do that kind of stuff. So, you know, that's okay. And then in here, I got some alligator jumpers and a couple drill bits. And then, uh, oh, I forgot. Oh, these are actually a must. Straight core removes tools. You need those. I got a knife on me too. All the time. A little stubby. Fixing one. And then I have some mini split adapters here for my hoses. I have a uh, carbon monoxide adapter. I have some bullet tank adapters for a 3 8 hose, for a quarter inch hose. And then I have uh, three trader cool remover tools. One of them I, I found, my stubby, and my knife. You can also see I have my two Testo probes that goes along with my Testo and my kneeling mat. So that's my Baccarat H10 Pro. My company provides this for me. Um, I have some Milwaukee charger with some Milwaukee batteries over there. Okay, I had to provide that obviously. Then over here, oh, come on. These are probably, you know, my staple, my bread and butter. Obviously you saw the, the probes. My Testo 557. Now, highly recommend, if you are gonna make a career out of HVAC, you need a set of digital manifolds um, with four ports, in my opinion. So just, just you know, my humble opinion. If you're gonna make a career out of it, you know, get a decent set of gauges. Doesn't have to be Testo, but just make sure they're good. Obviously, you need a vacuum pump. This is a uh, you know, super evac, uh, it's yellow jacket vacuum pump. Yep, uh, vacuum pump. The company provides that. And then we have a recovery machine. The company provides that. We have a scale right there. Uh, for Wayne refrigerant company provides that and this is just the case my testos came in uh, This is called a drain dog. Okay has this cord connected to it hooks up to your nitrogen tank blows out drains That's super useful uh, This is just yeah kind of walking and talking here. So that's a uh, obviously tape measure. This is a fan polar you need one of those Two extension cords and you can see I got two ropes for roping up stuff to the rope Roof need those. 
couple hardware bags couldn't hurt. So this is a hardware bag, Milwaukee, got it from Home Depot. Store all my electrical stuff in there. I get like five or six of them, you know, for different, you know, different things. Like I got right there, a whole bunch of them. Just some brace stuff here. So uh, I have a 30 tip. I have a, I think it's a one, three, some flux. This is a squeegee for small pipe. You put it inside and it rounds it or enlarges it as you need it. Um, obviously I have multiple uh, pipe cutters, one, Two, and then I have a little pipe cutter right in there, a little Milwaukee guy right in there, a small one. I use this one the most actually, so there's that little small guy. And then uh, right here, this is, uh, you don't need this, but just to show you, this is my vacuum pump down at the case plug. Uh, if it's illegal where you live, don't do that. Yeah, so I made that, so when you're at the case, you gotta pump it down. Yeah. Level, you need a level. Okay, super quick, we're just gonna keep going super fast. So Sawzall is a must, you gotta have a Sawzall. Grinder, um, I should have a battery grinder, but I don't, I've been skirting it away for years. Get a grinder and a Sawzall, you need them. You really, really do. Now I think I have in here, nope, I don't. Alrighty, so now from here, some type of jug for your oil. A pry bar you're gonna to need to move compressors you want at least two pry bars maybe a crowbar and part of your move in your compressors and also down in here open this door let's have to do one-handed okay an oil pump another pry bar and uh, a large wrench you need a wrench that's capable of going over an inch of five and pipe wrenches Two of them, two pipe wrenches at least is uh, something that you want, so I just need, you could use some whole saw stuff, but that's not like super necessary. And this is a greaser, um, yeah. So company provided, but chain fall. Oh, with chains, okay. I just want to mention it so you know everything I have, so. Chain fall, I'll just get the information for you so you got it quick. This is a Kayato Versatile USA half a ton chain fall. And I got some chains in there from Home Depot and some lifting eyes to lift some things and a toe strap too. We also have this uh, scale there. That's pretty useful, not necessary, but useful. Clamps, a couple of clamps are helpful. Some sheet metal cutters, obviously helpful. Uh, a drill, you need a drill, 100% need it. Drill bits for metal, 100% need it. Maybe your company will buy it. Oh, uh, caulking gun, wherever my caulking gun is. Gun, 100% necessary, need it. Uh, acetylene rig, in my opinion, is necessary. So uh, these are United Refrigeration brand. Um, now this is, you know, uh, like a map gas torch. Um, also, you know, propane. Uh, that's good for like if you want to do like, you know, aluminum repairs if you're going to attempt such a thing or a plumbing type of solder. These are good for that. This is good for just about everything else. This is a 15 tip. I almost always use for uh, just about everything. So a uh, rosebud 15 tip. So yeah, uh, that's the torch rig. Oh, striker, mirror. Got to have a mirror. Also... You need a stepper bit for sure. Uh, super important when you're drilling holes in metal metal cases. Um, also, some type of socket set. So uh, you know you probably want an American and a metric of a basic socket set. So um, yeah, there's that too. Also, of course, you can get a tool cart if you don't have to though. But I like it a lot. Some people just use shopping carts. Alrighty, and then uh, this smart probe. Monomena. Now this isn't really isn't necessary for commercial refrigeration, but our company we're kind of uh, with like the mercenaries of refrigeration. If it makes something hot or cold, we'll do it. So this is like setting gas valves, taking static pressure, um, you know, uh, stuff like that. So yeah, so that's um that's my list of tools. Um, those tools do 99% of uh, everything I need it to do. Um, yeah, so I mean, you could have more. For instance, you could have a thermal hydrometer that would that that'd be that'd be helpful um that's not exhaustive you could have more but 99 percent of all problems like it might be years before i buy another tool so yeah that's it that's um how you do it